What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, retired two time welterweight world champion, superstar, future Hall of Famer, Showtime Sean Porter, and retired former IBF welterweight world champion, British superstar boxer, Special K, Kel Brook. They weigh in on last Saturday's highly anticipated, undisputed welterweight mega showdown between now undefeated three-division world champion, former junior welterweight undisputed world champion, now the reigning undisputed welterweight world champion, superstar boxer, who is widely considered by many to be the number one best pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world in Terrence Bud Crawford. Terrence Crawford is now 40 wins, no losses, no draw, 31 big wins by way of knockout. He is 35 years of age, 5'8", with a 74-inch arm each, and former unified three-belt WBA, WBC, IBF, welterweight world champion, superstar boxer, who is widely considered by many to be top two, if not number one, definitely top five, pound-for-pound -pound best fighters in the world, in Earl The Truth Spence Jr., Errol Spence Jr. is now 28 wins, one loss, no draws, 22 big wins by way of knockout. He is 33 years of age, 5 foot 9 and a half with a 72 inch arm reach. Now, these are the two mutual opponents that have most been compared and tried to be dissected as to who was going to win this fight in the lead up to Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence fight. They used Kell Brook and they used Sean Porter as a measuring stick to try to gauge who would be the victor as to tell us who would win this fight so sean porter he finished his career now uh 31 wins four losses one draw 17 wins by way of knockout stood at five foot seven with a 69 and a half inch arm each okay uh that was sean porter record now keep in mind sean porter he faced off against errol spence september 28th 2019 he lost a split decision to um uh, Errol the True Spence Jr., okay? Uh, Kel Brook, he finished his career. 40 wins, 3 losses, no draws, 28 big wins by way of knockout. Three times in his career, he was knocked out. Uh, stood 5 foot 9 with a 69-inch arm each. Ironically enough, Kel Brook, he also fought Terrence Crawford. Uh, November of 2020, uh, he lost a TKO, a, a stoppage, a knockout in the fourth round of that fight, okay? Uh, Errol Spence and... Kell Brook, they fought in May of 20, 2017, and Errol Spence, he stopped Kell Brook in the 11th round and broke his orbital bone. So, Sean Porter, he fought Terrence Crawford November, uh, November of 2021, <clears throat> and, I mean, excuse me, uh, uh, of 2022, right? And uh, Sean Porter, he lost to Terrence Bud Crawford, okay? Uh, that was the last fight of Sean Porter's career, November of 2021, okay? Uh, he lost via 10th round stoppage. So these were the two fighters that were used, most used to measure and try to gauge who would win the fight between Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford. Who did better against Terrence Crawford? Who did better against Errol Spence? And how they did against each other, okay? And Sean Porter, ironically enough, lost his IBF title to Kell Brook. So Kell Brook's first IBF, first title opportunity was against Sean Porter. And Kell Brook, he beat Sean Porter. Okay. Uh, so with that said, uh, this was a good measuring stick. So Sean Porter and Kell Brook fought August of 2014. And Sean Porter lost. So with that said, this was the perfect measuring stick. Right. Now, there's a few things here that has to be noted is that. When Sean Porter fought Errol Spence, September 28th, 2019, Sean Porter was the WBC welterweight champion. Errol Spence was the IBF welterweight champion. They, that was a unification bout. When Errol Spence fought Kell Brook for his first title opportunity, that was uh, um, back in... Uh, 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 May of 2017. And Kell Brook had dared to be great nine months prior, taking on the reigning unified middleweight world champion, superstar boxer, Gennady Triple G Golovkin, and had his right orbital bone broken. Okay? 
he jumped up from 147 to 160 and had his right orbital bone broken. But he was giving Gennady Golovkin all types of problems. Nonetheless, he lost. Then nine months later, he fought against Errol Spence. Errol Spence was his mandatory. So Errol Spence then breaks Kell Brook's left orbital bone and stops Kell Brook in the 11th round. So Errol Spence's two fights with Kell Brook and Sean Porter was for Errol Spence to pick up their belts. Okay? Terrence Crawford fought Kell Brook and... That was for a title defense of a, a Terrence Crawford's WBO title. Kell Brook had not fought in that in the division, the welterweight division, in three and a half years since losing to Errol Spence. When Sean Porter and Terrence Crawford fought, it was again a title defense for Terrence Bud Crawford. So it was misleading because Terrence Crawford essentially fought uh, a lesser version, okay, of those two fighters. When Errol Spence fought them, they was for titles, to pick up their titles. Terrence Crawford uh, uh, fought them defending his titles. Errol Spence fought them as they were defending their titles. Okay, so that was the difference. Nonetheless, uh, they both won. Okay, Terrence Crawford stopped Kell Brook with a left in the fourth round. And he stopped Sean Porter, dropping him twice in the tenth round, with Sean Porter's father, trainer, manager, Kenny Porter, Wave the white towel. So many people thought the stoppage for Terrence Crawford was premature, including Errol Spence. Errol Spence, he stated that was that was early. That wasn't the same version of Sean Porter that I fought. You know, uh, uh, and and Kenny Porter, you know, essentially, you know, uh, threw in the towel, and Sean was getting ready to get knocked out. In the fight with Errol Spence and Sean Porter, that was a tooth and nail fight. It went back and forth. Some people even thought that. Uh, uh, Sean Porter was up on the cards, uh, and the difference was that Sean Porter got dropped in the 11th round of that fight. He got dropped with a left hook in the 11th round of that fight, and many people thought that that proved to be the difference. Errol Spence won the fight. Now, Terrence Crawford dropped Sean Porter twice in the 10th round and got a stoppage. And so, to gauge both, people said that Terrence Crawford fought the lesser version of the two. Now, Kell Brook had success in the first couple of rounds against Terrence Crawford with his jab. He was out jabbing Terrence Crawford. He even gave Terrence Crawford a shiner on his eye. When Sean Porter fought Terrence Crawford, he gave Sean, Terrence Crawford all types of problems. Hurt him about two or three times in the fight visibly, and he ultimately uh, 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 was was outworking Terrence Crawford. Going into the tenth round, we had that. So uh, Sean Porter, many people, there was that epic moment in between the ninth and the tenth round where Timothy Bradley was commentating the fight with Terrence Crawford and Sean Porter, and Timothy Bradley told Terrence Crawford, you're down on the cards. And Terrence Crawford said, I'm down? How? Right? And he and Bomack said, Terrence. Bomack, Brian McIntyre, former trainer of the year, told Terrence Crawford in the corner, hey, you're losing. Uh, uh, you're not paying attention. Terrence Crawford responded to Bomack, hey, they said I'm losing on the cards. And then he stopped Sean Porter in the 10th round. But many people thought Sean Porter was winning that fight, as many people thought Sean Porter was winning a fight against Errol Spence. Errol Spence then fights Terrence Crawford. And he has not many moments at all, if any. He had the first round, uh, which could have went back and forth. That's the only round to which he even had minor success against Terrence Crawford. And now leading into this, many people, again, use Sean Porter and Kell Brook as measuring sticks. But essentially, Kell Brook had more success, no doubt, against Terrence Crawford with his jab and gave Terrence Crawford a black eye in their fight. So Kell Brook had more success in three rounds against Terrence Crawford than Errol Spence had in nine rounds. Sean Porter had more success, way more success in ten rounds than Errol Spence had in nine rounds. There's no doubt. So in response, Sean Porter says that they was clowning me for my father waving it off and for me losing. But I had way more success and was way more competitive than Errol Spence. He's 1,000% correct. And Kell Brook, he uttered the same sentiments. I had way more success in a short period of time than Errol Spence did against Terrence Crawford. And he's 1,000% correct. The difference is the approach from Terrence Crawford. The difference is styles make fights. Errol Spence style, he's a southpaw naturally. 
He's big, he's fundamentally sound, and he's strong. He has an extremely high work rate. Kell Brook is an orthodox fighter who's big and strong, who has a great jab and technically sound. Sean Porter presses you every second of every minute of every round and outworks you. Foot speed, hand speed, arguably the best footwork in boxing in his era. The difference is styles and approach from Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford's approach, he started off with Sean Porter in the orthodox stand. He started off against Kell Brook in the orthodox stands. And that proved to be, as he went to welterweight, not as effective when he was at 130, 135, and 140. And so their jabs, Sean Porter's jab, Kell Brook's jab, was beating Terrence Crawford to the punch. He struggled with their jab, their movement. When he switched to southpaw is when he had his most success. Against Errol Spence, he took no chances. He came out in the southpaw stance and never switched to the orthodox stance. This is a testament to the triangle theory just simply does not work. So with that said, yes, in a short period of time, Kell Brook had way more success than Errol Spence did in three rounds than Errol Spence did in nine rounds. He had more rounds, six more rounds, and Kell Brook had way more success. Yet, Kell Brook got knocked out with a similar punch that rocked Errol Spence in the very beginning of the fight. And Sean Porter, he got dropped by the same uppercut that rocked uh, Errol Spence and busted his nose and his lip and got him all bloody. So essentially, it's all the common denominator is Terrence Bud Crawford. And it just proves that Terrence Bud Crawford can do what he wants when he wants in the ring. Because if Terrence Crawford would have been southpaw from the very beginning against Kell Brook, would Kell Brook have had success? If he was southpaw and not taking chances with Sean Porter's style, would he have went 10 rounds? Now, I will say this. Sean Porter wasn't visibly hurt. He kept getting dropped. But Errol Spence a few times didn't look like he was visibly hurt. But then he started pouring it on, that being Terrence Crawford. So no doubt... Sean Porter and Kell Brook is 1,000% correct. They had a lot more success than Errol Spence did. Sean Porter went one round, a round more. He went to the 10th round. Errol didn't get out the 9th. Kell Brook didn't get out the 4th. The common denominator here is Terrence Crawford is the best fighter in the world, period. And that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV, hate, like, comment, and subscribe. You haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace.